just brings out exactly what Kef is all about. As they say in Hebrew, when you're going to camp Kef, it's going to be a Kef. When you come back, you say Haya Kef. It was a Kef. Whichever way you look at it, Kef is a Kef. As a member of the Kef family, our whole year is worked around Kef. It's always, when is the camp? Is it an extra Shabbos this year? If it's an extra Shabbos, the whole family just jump, hooray, you know, we've got an extra week wherever we're going for holiday because everything depends, the whole family life, everything depends on the holiday time that my daughter gets in Kef. Dina is 15, she attends the Kesharon school. She has um, cerebral palsy, spastic quadriplegia, which means that she needs 24 hours a day care. For us per personally, KEF is extremely important. It's difficult think. really to quantify how much KEF gives us because they provide so many different activities for Dina. Not only the camps, but also the Sundays and the weekends and the evenings and the Motsa Shabbos and the baking club, which she's going off to shortly. And KEF is really an integral part of our lives. I'm Michelle. Um, and mum to Harry is 12, and he's nine, and Sam is four next week. At first she was diagnosed with hemiplegia, which is a form of cerebral palsy, and then she was, um, then she, when she was three, she developed epilepsy, and it wasn't until she was seven, after a lot of badgering her paediatrician, and because and, um, she's very charming when she sees people that she likes, so she'll smile, um, that we finally got her assessed and diagnosed as being autistic. So it's like having twins. Rather than having you know, children at very di different developmental ages and, and actual ages, it's like having twins with Annie and Sam. She is, developmentally, three to four years old as well. So, but in a nine-year-old's body, which is quite terrifying sometimes. It's 24-7. It's relentless. It is just continuous, um, without any break. And that's very, very hard and tiring and eats away at you sometimes. Mm. It can get, you know, it causes arguments because there's a high level of tension. So it's hard. From all of that, she's fantastic. <laughs> and she can sing so much. And she is just, she is really good fun. She's really good fun. <laughs> she's our Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> She's our true Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> we got involved with Kef when um, my daughter Miri was born. She's now five and a half. Um, she was born with Down syndrome. I think Hashem just gives you what you need. Um, because for me, when she was born, she was just our little girl. So she's become Miri who has Down syndrome as, per, as opposed to Down syndrome Miri. Once Miri's up, you're on 150%. There's no like if you're tired, you can chill on the couch and kind of watch them, you know, half asleep, which I can do with my younger one. Um, you have to literally be on 150%. You're not, it's fine, but you pay the price. You have to clean up whatever mess is, whatever wreckage, whatever there is um, that she managed to get into. Um, and she looks for when you're not watching. You just don't know what's coming. Um, she can get out of the house. <laughs> so we, you know, we've got various things in place. Um, but it's just that constant stress. Um, so that kind of can create you know, stressful situations where you might have had more patience for one child or for a spouse. Um, and you know, and then you'd, 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 you'd be that bit short. Holiday time is particularly, particularly um, difficult because um, we want to give attention to everyone. Um, and even all the ones who really know and really understand and really get it, sometimes they just get frustrated. And they also want time from uh, me and my husband.
What's amazing about KEF that the staff and the counselors they're giving away from their time, and these are, and you have to, you can't do it because it's a job. You got to do it because you just love doing what you're doing. It's like the music. You can't sing a song if you're not enjoying the song. I just, I absolutely love the children. Um, I love seeing the children. I, I am so privileged that I get to see them every single Sunday. I look forward to the camp so much. Um, the children are just such, such special children. Um, I'm inspired by all the counsellors. Everyone gives so much to these children and you just, you can't not love them. Kef means so much to me. It's hard to put it in just one word, but if I had to, then it would just be love. The more I have been involved with the organisation, the stronger this commitment and the relationship with what difference you're able to make by simply giving up a few hours a week or a few, few days a year or two weeks in the summer. Once you see the magic of KEF, it's very hard to say no. It's one of these things that I'm really grateful that I've had this privilege and honour to be exposed to and to be involved with. I would say KEF is the best thing that happened for any family with a special needs. It's very interesting when you think about sending uh, a child such as Dina off to camp. When we start to consider the extraordinary um, amount of input that the people who run the camp put into it. There's the uh, dressing, uh, there's the washing. Dina can't stand so she has to be hoisted or she has to be lifted. It's really quite extraordinary when you, when you consider how much uh, has gone into it. I don't know how we would, how we would survive without it. It's so well run, the fundraisers just amazing when you've been to the Purim fundraiser. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They're so nice. Absolutely amazing people. Can't. There aren't words sometimes to describe an organisation. It's truly amazing. Kef, just for us. Kef. When you say Kef and you ask us to describe it and what does it mean to us, it's just this word, this, this word that just means everything. It gives us a sense of normality, but to have it and to have it so run so well is, <laughs> is priceless. If there wasn't a Kef, we would probably move to the mountains and be all year on holiday. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> We'd probably move to the Swiss Alps, somewhere between Geneva and France, something like that, yeah. <laughs> They just take the most amazing, amazing care of her. She, she absolutely loves camp. She, her favourite chair is she stands on our table and she stamps her feet, she puts her hands in the air and she goes, Camp care! Camp care! And now my little one does that as well. Um, he stands on the table saying, Camp care! Um, just now she went on a Shabbaton. The entire family benefits from it. Me and my husband together and our interaction with our children. Um, and when she comes home, she's like a teddy bear. You know, sometimes she can go out and she's just in the midst of a massive tantrum, a massive meltdown. Every single time she comes back from whether it's club, whether it's a Shabbaton or an outing, she's literally like this teddy bear. Hello, how are you? Thank you so much. All these things that she says um, and she's just, she's delicious. <laughs> Kev means that they unlock potential, the, the latent koichas, the spirituality that the children have inside them. We don't, we don't get it from anywhere else. I don't think we can get it from anywhere else. And KEF is the, is the, is the primary source that we, we look forward to each week to give us that boost and to feel that pride and potential that we can bring out in our children. Sometimes month after the camp is over, I'll, I'll hear from Benny, we're still trying to, to raise some funds. To, to pay off the uh, camp and camp is over. So people have moved on, Every, everything has moved on. They're thinking ahead and still taking care of the past. And these are just amazing people, which are really angels in the work and the quality that they, that they bring to me, to the, my family, to the community and to everyone. Care makes me smile and care makes me happy and care takes me every 
my family is in love. Like Kev? Yeah. Or you love Kev? I love it. I love Kev. I would really recommend any family who's thinking to what level, how they should view an organization like CAF, a camp that does so much for the community, should invite the special needs over for just three days from a Friday till Sunday, Monday, just to appreciate what CAF does. I think it will, I think that one individual would cover the whole camp. That's what I think. Sure.